So it's been about a few days since Apple released the new update for the EKG on the Apple Watch Series 4 and it has already saved a life. A user on Twitter pretty much reported that right when he got the update, he ran the test, which takes 30 seconds, easy to do. He ran the test and he saw that it came back as atrial fibril atrial fibrillation, AFib, let's just call it AFib. So he thought it was uh, BS. He tried it on the other hand, he tried it upside down. Every single test he did, it came back as AFib. Uh, naturally, he gave the watch to someone else, that someone else being his wife. He gave it to his wife, the wife ran multiple tests, it came back as normal. So obviously this uh, spooked the guy, as it would many people. So he went into his walk-in clinic, told him that, hey, uh, my watch just told me I have AFib, what's going on? He pretty much skipped the entire line. They got him hooked up immediately, ran tests on him, and it came back as positive that he did uh, have AFib. And uh, the doctor pretty much told him, hey, that watch might have saved her life. And that just got me thinking, like, how insane is that? Like, before, you would have to go to a doctor's office and have, like, 12 probes all over your body like an alien. And you would have to pay, like, like what is it, like 500 bucks or if, if not even more uh, if you don't have health insurance to get a 30-second test done. Now it's free. Well, not, not counting the price of the watch, but it's, this is not like a, a monitoring, a health monitoring thing, so you don't really count that toward the EKG. That's like a, that's like a, that's like a little cherry on top. But it's, it's crazy that this thing saved his life. I mean, I personally knew when it came out, when the update came out, I knew that uh, doctors all over the world, or <laughs> all over America, because it's really only out in America at the moment, I knew doctors all over the country would be getting calls about AFib, but I didn't think it would be that quick. I mean, it happened that same day. And again, I just found that to be extremely interesting. And I thought I'd share this news with you guys on YouTube. Since this is a tech channel, I review tech and tech related stuff. And again, it's crazy that the Apple Watch literally saved someone's life. I mean, with so many added benefits of, of fall detection, it calls uh, your, your it calls your I think 911, and it calls your like uh, emergency contacts if you fall and you, and you don't move for a minute I think or 30 seconds or a minute. Yeah, I think it's a minute. If your family has health issues, you can buy them the Apple Watch if, if they're prone to falling or if they might have a heart condition or they might develop a heart condition. No one really knows. I mean, when was the last time you guys had an EKG? But like up until six years ago, that was the last time I had an EKG. And I think out of pocket, I think they're about 500 bucks, if not even more. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's it's, it's a lot. <laughs> and now you can run it for free on your wrist. So that's that's that just blows my mind. Um, on how technology is nowadays and it's only going to continue to rise so uh, let me know in the comments below um, if you think this is crazy uh, what your expectations are uh, for the future of health or, or uh, health in wearables because I think it's only it's only gonna go up from here the competitors have no have no other option except to follow the footsteps that Apple is now doing with wearables because it kind of Apple kind of just raised the ceiling of expectations to like a whole new level. Um, so yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of curious to hear other people's uh, insight on this. And um, let me know what you got on your test. Do you have AFib? I really hope you're at the doctor's right now instead of commenting on this video. Or maybe you're commenting on this video from the doctor's office. Well, in that case, good job.